I am trying to get my act together and figuring out what I'm gonna pack for our trip, so I thought I'd do a pre-pack. And I've had so many of you asking me to show you how I pack a week's worth of clothes in just a carry-on bag and what I can fit in this new bag from away. So I am gonna go through everything that's in here with you and so you can see exactly what I've made, you know, I've made fit into this bag. So I'm sorry I'm a giant mess. I've been working in my closet and dealing with this all day, so it is what it is. So here is what I've packed in this bag and this is pretty much what I'll be taking with me. Um, I might swap out a few different tops or whatever. Here's the thing. I was mentioning that in order to fit a lot of clothing into one bag, it's generally good to do a mix and match kind of thing, like choose two separate colors, like let's say navy and white. And everything is navy and white and it pretty much blends and you can mix and match and so forth and then choose one color, let's say fuchsia, a pop of color to throw in that can go in there too. And that way you can get in even more time with you know, more time away with the things that you can pack in a carry-on. This time, I decided not to do it that way to see if I could just put random things that I'm not even planning to mix and match and see if I could fit all those in here, and I did. So these items, like I say, I may or may not be taking these actual things, but all of this fits, and I will show you. So let's get started. Oh, and how perfect, right? I'm in airplane mode. <laughs> First, I want to show you what I will be traveling in, like the items I'm going to be wearing while I travel there. We'll be leaving here at about 30 degrees outside and arriving in the 80s, um, 13 hours later. And so a long trip in the, in the meantime. I need to be comfortable, I need to look decent, but not. I don't have to worry about looking too fantastic. Um, and this is what I chose to wear. I love these black pants. They are absolutely fantastic. They hit just a little bit above the ankle. They're fairly tight to the leg, but they're super, super stretchy, but they're made like pants. They have kind of like a, they're made like jeans with a button and a zip and two pockets in the back and that kind of thing. And they're just so comfortable. They keep their shape. I love them. I got them at Loft. I'll have to see if they're still available or not. And then I'll be wearing this white uh, kind of a shell. I like the way the top is. It's not low. I don't have to worry about that on the plane. It's sleeveless so when I do arrive I can take off the other things I have with me and it's nice and cool and that will be perfect with flip-flops. I can just throw in my uh, carry-on bag, my tote, and I can switch my shoes to uh, like flip-flops or sandals or something when I get there. Um, so that will be my outfit for when I get there. And then on top of that shell I can either put the white um, embroidered kind of sweatshirt thing and or the black flyaway. That black flyaway sweater I almost take on every single flight with me because I absolutely love how blankety it is. It just covers everything. I can put it on backwards and use it in front of me. I just love it for so many reasons. And then I always bring a scarf on a plane. So cozy, so comfortable, smells like home. It just really makes you feel relaxed. And then you can use the scarf for other things too. I really need to take my uh, my Nike um, athletic shoes because we'll be doing some hiking. Didn't want to try to fit them in the bag, so I thought, why don't I just wear them? It, the, the black and white theme is kind of cute with the shoes. It's easy for the airport. I'm happy. That's all good. Now, these are the jewelry items that I will be wearing with me. I have um, my diamond, uh, my little diamond necklace from Tiffany that I will almost always wear. Uh, I'm going to be using the, wearing these rings plus my wedding band or you know one of my anniversary bands. Um, I've got this watch because I'm going with a gold theme. I'm, everything's going to be gold. Uh, these little tiny hoops, super comfortable. I can sleep on the plane. If I can sleep on the plane, I can try to sleep with those in because they're super comfortable. And these are three braces I love to stack and they just go well and can go well with everything. I do have a few more jewelry pieces that I am bringing with me um, elsewhere, but those are the items that I will be wearing on the plane. Okay, so I wrote this down. It's quite fascinating actually. In this side, <laughs> in this side of my suitcase, I have three, no, four pairs of shoes, an extension cord, a hair tool, three swimsuits, a rash guard, eight pairs of underwear, three bras, one shaper bottom thing for some this dress I have, and my makeup case full of all my makeup items. So that's all in just this side. Now this side, the clothing side, ends up having a hat, a white skirt, a black skirt, two tank tops, two sets of uh, things to wear to, to bed, um, three short sleeve tops, a pair of white jean shorts, one pair of ankle jeans, 
one no sorry two maxi dresses one swim cover-up dress five like sundress cotton t-shirt dress kind of things uh, one shorter nicer dinner dress and a sweater i got all that in there so I can change around and mix and match in whatever these outfits so, so well. Sorry that the light is going in and out and so forth. Um, but I don't have a better light than for the, ugh, it's awful. Okay, let me do the best I can to show you what is going in this side. This side is the zipper side. And this is the, by the way, this is the away carry-on. It's the bigger carry-on bag. I have a pair of my Olakai sandals, flip-flops. I have the little um, rubbery insert things I like to put when I wear my Valentino flats because they make them more comfortable and I can wear them for longer because it gives it a little bit of arch support and soft cushioning. An extension cord, it really extends the things that can be plugged in in one place and you can make things reach over to the bed if you need them to for the middle of the night. My Calista hair tools. A, oh, I forgot I had this over here too. This little tank. Didn't mention that one. My water shoes. I'm bringing my Charleston cork wedges. And I'm bringing my Valentino flats. I love these, just love them. Here I have my Toiletry 25 by Louis Vuitton, completely packed and stocked with my things. I will show you what's in there in a moment. This is my compression bag, even though it doesn't, I can have just, there's tons more compression that it could do, but um, I just have it mostly because there are swimsuits. These are my three swimsuits, a rash guard, a, and a cover-up thing in here. And if I want to bring them home kind of wet, I can this way. And this is my under things for eight days. All crammed in here and this is compressed. Which I like having these for underwear too because then you can take them all out when you arrive at your destination and they're in the drawer or whatever and then as they're used they can go in the bag. Nice. And that is that side. Now over here, By the way, a laptop or something can fit in here if you like in this mesh section. Over here, I have my clothing. So I have a sweater top, just real lightweight in this pretty coral. I thought that would go on top of a lot of things if there's ever a moment that it's chilly at all. I have a white skirt. It's actually a skirt. It's got the little, it's a, kind of an athletic-y type of a short underneath attached, which is very nice. It's not too it's not too short, which I really like, and it goes with so many things on top. Some jammies, little mini set thing. Um, a blue and white striped top, can go with the white skirt, can go with jeans, can go with white shorts. So you have stuff in my hat. Kind of a purpley colored top. A white tank top. Somewhere's the black one, I don't know. Oh yeah, here's a black tank top. This is another uh, like a nightgown kind of a little dealy. This is a sundress kind of a thing, just a sleeveless little cotton dress. Here is a cotton top, short sleeves with a tie at the bottom, cute with jeans, white shorts, white skirt. Here's my packable hat. I love this hat, it's a good one. You can roll it, but it just works really well to stuff things in it. A pair of jeans. This is a maxi dress. Kind of a bluish color it's got a slit it's very cute very simple i like this with a long necklace and you can go with either flats or heels this is also a maxi dress in this more of a blue color also with a slit scoop neck cute this is like a this is a tommy bahama 
um, like a swimsuit material, little sundress kind of a thing, and you can just be wearing it while you're, you can use it over a swimsuit, you can jump right in the water in it, whatever. Here is a little black cotton dress, scoop neck, short sleeves, a little bit of a swing to the bottom. It can be used as a cover-up or as a dress. It's another dress that I have that I just think is kind of beachy looking, just a cotton sleeveless swingy dress, very light, breezy and comfortable. A pair of distressed denim um, shorts, white. This is another little dress I have. It's just a cottony little swing dress. Another top that has the little tie at the bottom or at the side. Side bottom, short sleeves. Again, you can go with jeans, white shorts, white skirt. Here's a dress I got. Oh my gosh, here's my foot. Here's a dress I got. I really like it just has like a, a split neck it's in a green type of a color a real lightweight it's got pockets kind of a shirt tail hem I just think it's super cute and easy and breezy here is my black skirt it's also a skort by the way it has the bottom little short things very comfortable goes with absolutely everything and then last but not least Another dress by Lush that I really like. Same type of a style with a little split neck, short sleeves, shirt tail kind of. I love this color. And those are the outfits that I have to take with me on this trip. And I feel like that that will get me through anything and I can mix and match things. I can rewear if I go to dinner in this dress at one hotel or at two different hotels. So let's say the first couple days were at the first place I go out to dinner in this, I can wear it again at the second place. Not a problem. So I do believe this is generally what I will be taking. Um, I may switch or change out a few things here and there, I don't know, but all of that fits in this bag. So I'm extremely pleased with that. Very, very happy. So that is, is really how you do it. You just roll things, you just come up with the outfits that you can kind of mix and match. And like I said, if all of these items were basically in the same color family, like all black and white with a little bit of color or something, I could mix and match even more and could get way more time out of the outfits depending on you know how hot or sweaty the place is. And you can also do laundry or hand wash things too if you find some fabrics that are easy to just wash in your sink and dry while you're out and about for the day. So it can be done, I'm telling you, it really can. Um, it's not only for tiny people, you can still pack a carry-on bag for a week with dresses and I have five pairs of shoes. One, two, three, four, and then I'm wearing another one so I have five pairs of shoes. I'll show you all my makeup stuff and what's in my uh, tote bag too. Here's my Louis Vuitton 25 toiletry. I absolutely love this thing. You can fit so much in it. It's so easy to use. Love it. And this is all I have with me for this trip. My microfiber cloth. I absolutely love these for so many things. Perfect for makeup time, wiping brushes off, etc. Always bring one of those. I get one of these new loofahs each time I go shopping um, before a trip just because I can love using those in the showers. I have a little bag of hair clips and hair ties. This just keeps them organized. I have a deodorant, allergy medicine, my, I don't know how to pronounce it, gua sha tool, my jade tool. This feels so good across my face. I love it. Nice and cooling. A beauty blender. I need to get a new one, but I packed that for now just to make sure I could get it all to fit. A uh, dental floss. Let me see where we're at here. I have two little um, individual things of nail polish remover in case I need to fix a nail. I will be making sure my nails are ready with a color called Buff and Tumble and I'm bringing that with me in my other carry-on thing that I have to give to the TSA people. I have enough days worth of these New Face Prep and Glows. I talked about these in my favorites and then just use one each day and throw it away so I'll have extra space coming home. I'm bringing my Lancome foundation stick. 
And in my other thing, I have a liquid foundation too. So I'll show you that. I have a little mirror. I should probably, I probably don't even need this. I have mirrors in my other things. I have Tylenol PM in case, you know, I'm hurting and can't sleep and so forth. And <laughs> you never know, there's that. I have a uh, sharpener for my lip liner. I have a comb. I have a brush in my other thing. I have my EM Cosmetics um, lip stuff. I like this one, it's called In Secret Blush. I like this one a lot, it just goes with everything. I have my Laura Geller um, Longwear Eyeliner. Love this. Okay, literally, this is like all the makeup I'm taking. Right here. This is it. Okay, and what I have here is that eyeliner. I have a Milk uh, mascara, by, a Kush mascara by Milk. I have a waterproof, little mini, uh, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof mascara. My Sugar Rush Mint um, Lip Treatment Balm. Uh, Eyebrow Brow Wiz by Anastasia. I have uh, my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And then literally, this, these are the colors and things for my face, and this is it. Besides my foundation that I have in the other. Um, I'm taking my Hamptons Weekend. This stuff works on the eyes as well as it does on the face. I've used this as an eye look. Um, but I've got my highlighter, I've got a bronzer, and I have a blush that's just perfect for anything right there. I do have a bit of a contour thing here, not a problem, easy. And these are the eyeshadows I'm taking. I took some Viseart, this is by Viseart, and it's not a palette that, I put this palette together myself using other palettes from Viseart that I have. These pop right out, they're magnetic, and I put these together as the colors that I would be just fine with all week. And that is it in my bag, except for my brushes. And they're in this zip pocket back here. I had this little one for my face powders. Oh, I do have another eyeliner and a more of a gray tone for darker looks. I have another eyebrow, a brow whiz. I have my MAC Dervish Lip Pencil, love that one. I have this for under the eye powder setting. I have this for blush and highlight. And this is for bronze and any contouring happening. And this I can use like for all over face powder. I already mentioned that. I have my flat MAC brush just to kind of pack on the color on the lid. I have more of a blending brush by MAC for the crease. I have a little pencil brush if I want to put some eyeliner in the uh, edges as a kind of a, I mean, you know, if I want to put eyeshadow in my, uh, okay, if I want to use eyeshadow as an eyeliner, I have this uh, pencil brush by MAC. Love this one. I think it's MAC. Yes. I have my angled brush by Smashbrock box for my, uh, for my brow whiz. I have a tweezer and I have a nail file. That is everything in this bag, except for whatever that was, a bobby pin, two bobby pins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and let me show you what I have on my, in my TSA thing for the liquids. Okay, here are all the items I'm taking in my TSA approved thing. I love this container. It's absolutely fantastic. It fits so much more than your average quart size bag, yet it is TSA approved and it works, so perfect. All right, I have it quite full, so let's see what I got in there. I got an IT Cosmetics um, CC cream. I love this stuff because it's um, SPF 50, perfect for the beach. A little uh, clinical, what is it? Secret clinical deodorant. An Urban Decay All Nighter. An ultra repair cream, love this hand cream. By First Aid Beauty, by the way. This, um, a hairspray. Another hairspray. I can just throw the bottle away when I'm finished with it. This is great for any kind of a beachy type of a vacation where your hair is going to be wet a lot. You can easily even just jump in the shower after that. 
Um, it's so great when you're, you've been out all day, you jump in the shower, you clean off, you get out of the shower, you spray this in and scrunch your hair up and let's sort of let it air dry. And it's got those beachy waves, love it. This will be my face cream. This is my um, Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice. Love this stuff so much. It'll be my eye cream, my face cream, all that in one. Triple sec, I love this. Just to refresh my hair, give it some oomph, give it some body, texturizing it, beautiful. Two little saline solutions for contacts. I have two more of these little uh, wipes. They're, they don't need to go into the TSA bag, but they just happen to be in there, so I left them there for my nail polish in case I need to fix something, and this is the color that my nails will be at the time, so I will be taking this with me. It's just easy, and it's easy for touch-ups and so forth. I have a little uh, mini perfume. These pop bottles are the perfect size for any um, kind of a takeaway trip for traveling. Love them. And I threw in this one, too. I'm just gonna use the rest of it up. It's the Daisy Love sample. This is my uh, brush bath by It Cosmetics. I love this stuff. It really, really cleans your brushes beautifully well. Just a little spritz and rub your brush off on my that cloth that I always bring. Perfect. And because it's considered a liquid, my concealer, which is the Chanel. Love it. This is in beige, uh, beige 20. And my toothpaste of the moment, I think I'm gonna put a newer one in here because I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Looks like it probably will be, but I wanna be sure. And that's it, that's everything that was in this bag. And as you can see, it's a large bag and a lot of items fit, so that's that. This is the tote I will be taking with me, my Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM. I love this bag for trips. It fits perfectly under the seat in front of me and fits so much. It's a great one. Plus, you can easily cinch in the sides, clip it up. You don't have to worry too much about anything falling out. I love it. I've never had a problem. First off, bringing my turtle wrap. It's a neck wrap. I think I've shown this before, pretty sure. Very, very comfortable instead of one of those like donut pillow things for your head. Hoping I can get some sleep. And on that thought, I have a black satiny eye mask for the same reason. Hoping I can get some sleep. Now this is because I'm a big baby and I'm only five foot five and the floor to chair hits me at a weird spot and I always want to raise my feet and I'm, many times I want to put my feet on my bag or something and I just, but I don't want to do that. This is a lifesaver. I love this little thing. It just, seriously, it's real lightweight and it fits right inside any kind of a tote. It's a little shelf basically for your feet. It just pops right open, self-locking. You've got your little footstool and these slide out. If you want a little wider, it's very sturdy, very well made. I love this. So it's perfect for when you just really want to have your feet elevated and it really does save my back a lot. Otherwise it's very uncomfortable for me. Just because of my height, whatever. Like I said, I'm a big baby, but it's so simple. Love it. Here is my container of TSA approved liquids. It's easy for me to grab for going through security. We are TSA approved and usually I never have to show this, but on the off chance I do, I have it all here ready for that occasion. I always take my meds with me um, on my person. I can get to them if I need them. And so I make sure I've you know, got them with me. This is a cute little Vera Bradley pouch I have for my weekly meds and vitamins and so forth. And I always bring a little extra. So I have another little thing of extras too in my other area. In this pouch, the pochette, I have my camera situation, my chargers, my cords, um, another charger thing, you know, these deals. And the camera that I'm filming with right now will fit right in here too, which is perfect. And this will be with me everywhere I go. This is my jewelry pouch. I really like this. I haven't completely finished deciding what other jewelry I will take, but for now I have a few pair of earrings and they just go right on this little thing. And I have an interior zip pouch pocket here. I know I'll be taking this necklace. I have my little straws through the chain so it doesn't get, um, you know, tangled up. I love that straw technique. If you don't know that one, it's a good one. But the jewelry, again, always stays with me. I have my iPad, love that. And the charger is in that charging pouch. 
I'm bringing my Kindle also. I still haven't decided for sure if I'm bringing this also. I can read my Kindle books on my iPad, but I get the glare. I don't know, I haven't decided, but it fits, so I might just take it. Now this will be my run around bag when I'm there. This is too big really you know, for me to go running around and doing things around the island and so forth. But this is the smaller version. It's not the tote size. It's more of the small of the Le Pliage um, bag. So it'll be a perfect size just to throw whatever I need for the day. Easy grab and go. And I love how it folds up and fits right in my tote bag. Fold, fold. Flat. Perfect. In my zipper pocket back here before I forget, I'm gluten free for the most part, so I always want to make sure I have something in case I can't find a gluten free item wherever I am at the moment, so I have some granola bars in there for the flight. And then everything else that's in here I have in my um, purse organizer. This is the exact organizer I use inside my Louis Vuitton bags and I've used this inside my, um, my Birkin too, as a matter of fact. I love this organizer, it's very, very handy and I'm just taking it with me in this too. And in the organizer I have a little bag of tissues. This will be my wallet. I'm just using the Chanel card case. Simple cash, we have to switch over to a different cash when we get there anyway. A few cards, my insurance card, uh, my license, um, that kind of thing. Perfect. Some antibacterial wet wipes. I love wiping down the tray table and the arms of the chair at the, in the airplane because they never wash those. Yeah, that's me, I'm the one doing that. Oops. I bring my toothbrush with me on the flight with toothpaste, which I haven't put in there yet, but I will. A little mini one. Um, I'll take it out of my TSA thing. <laughs> um, my passport. These are my sunglasses. I believe I'm taking these. They're the um, Michael Kors. I may take my Ray-Bans. I'm not sure. And then I also have my prescription sunglasses in case I'm having a contact problem, which I shouldn't have because I just got contacts figured out. But these are Maui Jim and they're prescription sunglasses. Very similar look. I like black aviators. This is my, um, my earphones, so perfect Good place for those. And then I have everything else, okay, that's it for inside here. Then I have this toiletry 19, which I love. So this is filled with just your random, you know, hand cream, this little mini pop-up brush that I love. You've all seen one of these, haven't you? How perfect is that for a flight, really? Um, I have some L'Occitane Shea Butter, I have a face powder, a hair clip, a pen, a lip liner, some breath mints, of course a chapstick, a few other lip products down in there. Um, another, oh this is perfect, yes, I've got my real smooth stylus for my, to play all my games, <laughs> my drawing things. Yeah, so all those things fit right down in here in this pouch. So that's it. Those are the items I'm taking with me to Tahiti and I'm very, very excited. Not quite leaving yet, so now I get to go unpack all of this. I just really wanted to get this video out. I've had so many people really saying they couldn't wait to see how I pack that much into one carry-on bag. And that's exactly how it's done. So. <laughs> Anyway, if you have any questions for me, let me know. Um, like I said, you can even get more wear and more time um, into it if you do more, like just a few colors. I just sort of threw everything in the rainbow in there and I don't, I'm not even worried about mixing and matching too much. I could totally fit um, outfits and dresses for dinner and so forth. For I've got shoes for hiking, I've got beach wear, I've got it all. So. I'm excited and uh, yeah, that's, that's how it's done. Let me know what you think and if you have any questions, I'll be happy to try to answer them. In the meantime, I am thrilled with my away luggage. That bigger carry-on seems to be perfect so far. I set my combination. I haven't charged my battery yet, but that, will, that I'll be doing like right before the trip. And um, yeah, I'm loving it. I really hope that it, you know, holds on 
and does a good job for me on the trip, I'll be sure to let you know. Anyway, oh, I will put that $20 off coupon down at the bottom too. Just look for the away coupon or whatever. You can get $20 off if you're interested. So throw that in there too. I've had a couple people say that they were interested. So anyway, thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.